Hey, what's going on guys? It's Josh from JC Landscaping back in the video and a new piece of equipment for the arsenal uh, So my go-to equipment is steel Products if you've noticed from most of my videos, that's the equipment that I use You know people call me a steel fanboy I've used every piece of equipment out there guys Husqvarna, Shadawa, Echo, Steel, you know Anything and everything out there under the sun I've done over the last 25 years, equipment-wise. Steel has always been my go-to chainsaw. Well, my 194T, which isn't, you know, a really hardcore commercial use one. I just used it for trimming small limbs and stuff like that. Was stolen uh, towards the end of last season. So, and I've been using... A really really old 081 which is like an ancient steel chainsaw uh, and in my previous video I used that Makala which was a garbage chainsaw to me <laughs> it uh, is a 50 cc chainsaw but it just is garbage so I've been wanting an echo for quite a while to try out this particular chainsaw here. This is the CS 2511T top handle saw. It is a climber saw basically for climbers in the trees or you know small pruning jobs like for what I do I do lawn care and landscaping so if I'm pruning small branches that are hanging down on trees this is it right here. One-handed this is a very lightweight chainsaw. I'll give you the quick rundown on it real quick. It is a 25cc engine, so it's not too big. The weight is 5.2 pounds, so 5 pounds, 2 ounces, without you know the oil and gas. I haven't put anything in this yet, so you guys will see it you know, first here of me getting it going. The fuel capacity is 6.4 ounces. And the oil capacity is 4.7 ounces for the bar and chain oil and the mix. So, price-wise, it is a little pricey. You know, along with everything else these days, prices have went through the roof. This one was $4.49 with the 12-inch bar. Now, they do make a 14-inch bar for it, which was $4.59. I did buy the 14 inch bar and chain separate, so I do now have a 14 and a 12 inch, you know, chainsaw. So like I said, this would be my first Echo uh, top handle saw that I'll use. So I'm going to do some trimming here in a little bit. I got some pretty decent branches that uh, came down after the storm went through early this morning, so you guys will get to see it. Uh, first hand and the first time me using it. So When I bought it, uh, it did come with the kit here the tool kit uh, To take out the spark plug uh, chain adjuster uh, the bag for the chainsaw uh, the Torx head uh, to take out the screws Here on the covers now I know there's a lot of videos uh, on YouTube of people modding this they do modifications on it uh, they will drill a hole here in the muffler to port it open it up a little bit more uh, I won't do that as of right now but you know maybe down the road so quick little rundown with it you got a pretty stout you know handle here here's your chain lock you got your kill switch on the top which I do like it's right here just quick easy with the thumb to shut it off you do have the hook for your tie rope when you're climbing so you can hang on to it uh, underneath here is the spark plug you flip this little lever up and you can access the spark plug uh, and you flip this one down and the air filter is right underneath here uh, over here you have the adjustments you have the high and low setting over here and, you know, unfortunately it does have a primer bulb, but it does have an auto choke feature, so that will help. Uh, fast idle, excuse me. 
it's not an auto choke, but it's a choke with an automatic fast idle. So it will speed it up pretty quick. Got your chain cover here. And like I said, here we got 12 inch chain. That's a 0.5. That's a 3 8 low profile. So, and it does give you the specs right here. So if you want to replace the chain, they actually have the sticker right there. So that's kind of nice. If you forget what size of chain you need for it and the bar gets used, this gets all wore off and you can't read it. You're like, oh damn, what do I need? Well, you got it right up here too. So, and then down here you got the, the serial number and all that good stuff. Uh, it does have a locking washer for the cover, which is nice. So you, a captive nut is what that's called. So you don't lose it when you take the cover off. So it does have a chain uh, block here. So your chain doesn't flip back, you know, catch you in the leg if the chain does come off the bar, which is very nice. So yeah, all in all, I mean, it's a very, you know, unique unit. You don't see too many small handled saws like this. So let me get some uh, get some oil in it and get some uh, two cycle in it. Uh, get a couple branches set up over here by my fire pit and uh, we'll see how this thing cuts. So be right back. One more thing I forgot to point out here guys which I think is really cool um, before we get over and get cutting. Uh, I just put the oil and the gas in here. So gas goes up here, oil is down here. Uh, really cool thing, these are very small you know nubs to try and you know twist off especially if you got gloves on or whatnot so let's make sure the switch is off the pull handle here converts to look at that it actually fits down in there so you get a better grip of taking the caps off good idea echo that's that's uh that's pretty slick so anyway, I wanted to throw that in there real quick before we get over there and start cutting. So uh, let me get some wood set up over here, and we'll uh, we'll get at it. Be right back, guys. One other quick thing, guys, is when I was talking about the uh, captive nut over here, when you take this cover off, you uh, the chain tensioner is on the outside, which is a plus. So let's get over there and start cutting some wood. All right, guys. Let's see how this thing does. Now, I know I'm going to get some kickback on this. I am wearing shorts, but it's pretty hot today, and I'm not doing a whole lot of cutting, so I'm going to just do a few passes, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll flip to the on. Here's your choke. Prime it. Let's see what she does. Chain breaks off. Choke off. Not too bad. there I was going through a knot on the wood so first impressions that is a very very aggressive chain you can see it you know bouncing back because it is gripping so much I mean you see the gap in between the the teeth here you know 
I like it. I mean, that is a very, very clean, clean cut. You can see the aggressiveness of the chain doing the jumps here. So, not too bad. I mean, this is fairly decent dry wood, too. So, made some coasters. If anybody wants to buy them, put them in the merch store. What do they usually sell in the store for like 10 bucks for a coaster? So, there's 10, 20. I got 70 bucks right there in coasters. Anybody want to buy them? You know, send me a message. Just kidding, guys. So, yeah, that, uh, I like it. And it is going to be very handy for a lot of cleanup jobs that I do. Uh, you know, if you're working, cutting back honeysuckle or whatever, you know, you got one hand. You know, one hand, grab it, cut it, throw it. Grab it, cut it, you know. Five pounds isn't that much. You know, you carry around a nine to 11 pound weed eater, you know, this, five pounds, this is nothing, you know. I like it, I like it. That's it. I appreciate you watching the video, and this is a quick little rundown of the Echo CS 2511T top handle saw. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll leave a link in the description of this product if you guys want to take a look at it. And uh, yeah, be safe out there, guys, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>